Hey, what up, what up, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Cornbread Returns YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming out, really appreciate it. Welcome back to Let's Play Battletech. This is the Heavy Metal DLC. We are running a career mode. We are on Iron Man. It is difficult, guys, and I, I hope you enjoyed the uh, little memorial uh, prior to the start of this episode officially uh, to, the, to the pilots lost. Oh, man. We are coming off an absolutely brutal mission where we got our asses handed to us. I, I just... I'm like still in a little bit of shock about it. I had to take a break from Battletech for like a week to just kind of realign my chi. I was rec I'm recording another RimWorld um, series at, at the same time as this one. But you know what? You got to get back on the train. You got to get right back on. This game is not always going to be easy. You're going to get dealt some, some tough hands sometimes. You're going to get your ass kicked a little bit. You, take, you bite off a little more than you can chew, and that, that's certainly what happened to us. Uh, we lost a mech. We lost two pilots. Uh, we didn't complete the mission. Overall, just really, really bad. So what are we going to do? Well, here's the first thing we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is, before before the episode, I was looking at the, the store, and um, just in, in, the, in the, the spirit here uh, of getting um, something before we leave. Uh, we do have a, an SRM-6 on our stalker that I would love to upgrade to this 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 variant. So first things first, we're just gonna buy that. And yeah, we our money is not doing amazing right now. But here's, here's the thing. I wanna come back to this planet. One, there's some great missions that I think are, have some really big payouts that I, I really think it, might, it would be worth coming back to this planet at some point throughout our thing. I don't know if that'll be in the, in the very near future, um, but maybe. And, and the reason for that is I want that Highlander. Not, not a lot of times do you see three um, salvage parts uh, being sold for a Highlander uh, 733 variant. And I really, really like this variant. It's the one with the with the um, one auto cannon, um, the two lasers, and the four the four missile slots. It, it's a beast, right? It, it's an absolute beast. Just like the Stalker, it's a monster. You can put a, a, a very heavy can auto cannon on it, or an LB five X or some or an LB you know whatever X with the 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 burst fire cannon. Um, but but the bottom line is. You know, you can, and then the two energy weapons, they can be large lasers, they can be uh, pulse lasers, they can be, you know, whatever it may be. I want to buy this Highlander. And there's also just some other really awesome stuff in this system, and especially in the black market. Um, just because it's it's a very, very, uh, we do get a 5% discount here, 20% uh, price in increase here because the pirates hate us, but we still have access. Um, but it, it's just a, it's an awesome system in terms of, uh, 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 Itrum is an awesome system in terms of just what it has available to, uh, to it, right? So, um, one of the four founding worlds of the Oregon Ar Ar Coalition, right? So, House Gallus. So, being a founding world, it's got a big economy. Um, so, I'm just going to write it down. We were here at 798 days remaining in the campaign. Um, yeah, that's, I just I want to come back here. It ain't over yet. Um, you know, we took a beating here. And, and it just kind of is what it is. I also want to go to the mech bay. So we've got, we've got quite a few things being worked on in the mech bay. But now that I, like I said, I, I do I do want to go ahead and swap out one of the SRM-6s that's on this this guy. Particularly this one right here. Um, with the one we just purchased. Which is much, much better. So we'll go like this. And then I always like to... Oh, nope. Uh, I like seeing things symmetrically. Um, across my my different things, kind of see what's the, what the differences are, right? Okay. Oh, you got the medium laser. In fact, the medium laser is on top here. Why don't we? Uh, that sucks. Uh, yeah, I want to see. It. I like. I just like seeing it. Just it helps me know what's on there. I know it's like a little bit anal. Um, but you know, I just really really like to see it. Okay, great. Everything's there's a lot of parity here. Uh, there's not supposed to be. There it is. Uh, so we got extra heat sink on that side. No big deal. Still an absolute monster. I mean, look at that firepower, you guys. As if it couldn't get more beastly, it just got more beastly with the, the SRM-6. This thing is just a, a beast in general. Um, at some point, it'd be cool to get um, an upgraded large laser. This one's the extended uh, laser plus plus, which also is pretty cool. It, it does produce more heat for sure. 
But the cool thing is you save a ton, right? So you can just pop another heat sink on, which is what we ended up doing. But it does more. It does significantly more damage. It's ex extended laser, extended range, large laser, plus plus. It says plus five damage, but the funny thing about it is, it, it, it the, a, a standard large laser only does forty damage, and it does fifty. It, and it's very long, fifty. So there's no minimum range. It's got a maximum range and an optimal range, just like any other weapon. But man. It's just an awesome, awesome piece of, of equipment, and it'd be really cool to get a matching pair. Possibly another better medium laser over here, too. I mean, not, I don't I always want everything to be amazing on just this one alone. So go ahead and do that. I'll get it. I'm going to go to manage tasks. Uh, th this is just such a short task that let's just, let's just bump it up like that. These are all these tasks look like it's pretty short. Um, 12... Uh, eight days and and I was also looking at uh, contracts before looks like we have a pretty short um, travel contract over here it's pretty easy uh, it'll get our money back on track I think we're gonna take it however before I do that I do want to go ahead and look at the star map because I want to see where that travel contract actually is. so it is it's very very close 15 day travel low low costs um, black market store that's right that those are that's what it's gonna show me now I don't have any filters on but we do get to see, you know, okay, yep, black market store there. Uh, there's bound, now there is a travel contract here. There, there's no black market, but there's bound to be additional jobs in some of these markets, as, uh, in some of these areas as well. Looks like there's a flashpoint here, huh? Oh yeah, tournament of champions. I've done that in a different uh, playthrough. Um, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess around with that uh, during this playthrough for sure. Um, but I do think I am gonna take that travel contract just to get out of here. We need to we need to reset you guys. We need to uh, um, to realign our chi. Uh, we just need to get back back on track. That's that's the real the real idea here. We we just need to get back on track. Uh, need to get our money flowing again. Need to get our confidence back. Need to get our, some of our pilots some more experience. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and take that that travel contract. Um, man of the people. Nice payout. We'll probably max out the cash just because it doesn't look like we're going to get tons of stuff. It is an escort in the desert, but it doesn't look too too crazy tough. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and take a max cash payout, you guys. We just need money right now. Money is what we're all about right now in the interim. Usually I like to be pretty balanced on that stuff, but we need the money, you guys. Excellent. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Dude, you're telling me, man. You're freaking telling me, buddy. Uh, luckily, we the financial report. Um, yeah, it's just because we're getting charged because we're traveling, right? There's travel costs, thirty thousand C bills. Although when I when I do the travel, um, the contract they'll usually pay. I think they usually pay for um, the upgrades. That's excellent to know. Is there anything we want to do in the mech phase? I mean, other than that, I mean, this guy just got obliterated. But we need we need a lot of stuff. Uh, to get this guy back up and running. And I just don't think we have the money right now to do it. He just lost, um, our, our Griffin just lost a lot of just really, really good, good stuff. Um, it got, yeah, it's just, it's just, a, it's not, it's a, it's a really nice, nice mech when you're dealing with medium firepower. We took it on a mission that it probably just wasn't good for. We, we bit off more than we could chew in that mission. We, we needed to be running, and the mission that we failed at miserably in the last episode, we needed to be running, well, actually, it was a mission that spanned multiple episodes. Uh, we needed to span, um, we needed to go in there with heavy and assault mechs, if we were at any chance of completing that mission whatsoever. Or even getting close. Like, really what I should have done, and I, and I realize this now, is once I would taken out that initial group, and the other guys were kind of fighting amongst themselves and our base was kind of being protected what i should have done is i should have sent either one or two or maybe my entire mech squad over to that base to destroy it complete the primary objectives and then made a beeline for the for the uh, exit because there was just no way we were going to be able to take out all of those all of those mechs it was just it was stupid i, I don't even know why i tried it, i just looking back now it's just like it's really frustrating thank god dalton 2 survived i don't know what i would have done if we had lost Dal dalton 2 but we lost some great people and that's just the, the sad reality of it let's go ahead and take archangel we'll we'll, we'll uh, have him in that everyone's got bulwark here dalton 2 does not um i almost kind of want to get um i need to get some of these new pilots um some experience so uh, what do we got? We got our stalker, our marauder, our catapult. So a lot of a lot of heavy right now. Uh, I I kind of want to bring the centurion to be completely honest. 
I do like the I do like the Wolverine and the Enforcer with the AC twenty plus 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 uh, is just a monster. One hundred twenty damage. It just kills people. But the overall, um, especially in a desert environment. Uh, with the heat efficiency being an issue there, I do think the Centurion is going to be a really smart play. Um, the AC-10, medium laser, range finder, dual um, SRM-4 plus pluses, and one's a plus, 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 triple plus. Uh, I, I, I like the Centurion overall. Um, the bulwark is nice. The pilot's not that great, um, but will get better. Uh, you know, just... it. You know. That's why, you know, that this is why it, it, it's earlier on in the game, you guys, we worked so hard to cultivate a good team because, you know, now we have backups so we lose two people that were fantastic pilots. And we did. We lost two really good pilots. Very sad. Uh, still a little sad about that, but you brush it off. Beautiful. All right. Let's just get this done. Get our confidence back, you guys. Oh, that's kind of cool. Some kind of a mine, mining operation going on over here. The politician's convoy is already under fire. Whoa, really? Move to their position and provide support. Get them to safety. Keep them intact and get their other one. It's done. Okay. Ready to rock. Will do. Uh, yeah, it's a desert environment. Very hot. Kind of cool, though. Kind of cool that, like, red glow is kind of bouncing off the... Uh, the Martian surface here. Uh, ooh, wow, that was kind of weird. Sorry about that, guys. A little bit laggy there. Um, okay, so they're already fire. I feel like I've played this mission, this 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 mission before, like with this uh, map type and stuff like that. Who's first? Uh, Centurion can. Uh, actually, you know, you'll be my last one to move. Let's just get uh, let's get our guys going over here. We might have to jump, but we might not. If we can get into this position, we might be able to do Onward. some firing um, before. But it looks like we'll be able to keep everybody up. And this mission shouldn't be too crazy hard. Shouldn't have too too crazy amount of... Uh, um, oh, they can just walk down here. Okay. Sensors have something. Oh, yeah, there they are. Oh, wow, they're coming straight towards me. Okay. Well, then probably a better idea to, to stay in somewhat cover. Moving out. Get everybody in cover. Did not realize that they would be doing that. The Marauder might take a hit or two, but that's not that big of a deal. A lot of armor on that Marauder. A lot of evasion, too. Bring in Jen you bring in a knife to a gunfight here with that Jenner. Just missed. Excellent. That's good. Oh, yes. You know what? Before I forget, you guys, uh, just give me one second. Uh, I, I have, I have a... Uh, Somebody had left a comment that I really wanted to respond to and fulfill. That was a large laser. That was a good miss. Oof. That was sucked. Especially because not, he's not in any cover. Um, before I forget, somebody asked me... Settings. Uh, gameplay. Uh, not going to speed up. Not going to do this. Zoom in to new content. Show UI during attacks. That was what somebody requested. Somebody requested that I, I show UI during attacks. Um... To make sure that they could see what was being hit. And I think that was a really, really good uh, piece of feedback. So thank you if you were that person. I, I cannot remember your name off the top of my head. I apologize. Um, but thank you. That's all. I really, really appreciate that kind of stuff, you guys. Um, somebody gave me a, a, a similar piece of, of, of advice or um, you know feedback. Uh, yeah, why don't we go after this guy? the flea um on my 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 rim world because they were watching on a smaller device and uh you know this my screen is is a bigger screen i play on a 1440p monitor and but i record at 1080p but with the, with the way that the AI, ai um excuse me the um ai the ui scaling was working um they couldn't really see the different ui and, and so it really helped them when i scaled it up a little bit and i, and I really appreciate that kind of stuff you guys uh, yeah, I was no no intent on ever hitting him with anything there. The whole idea was to remove some of his evasion, so that I could get the, the guys in here and, and do a little more damage, uh, like this. And I don't even care about cover right now with the Marauder. It's got so much armor, and uh, you know we're just looking to 
deal out some significant damage here. In fact, yeah, why don't we do this? Let's make it hurt. Um, auto cannon five, PPC, medium lasers, everything, everything in the bag right now. Let's just hit them hard. Excellent. Yeah, there we go. Exactly. That's what we were looking to do. One shot kill, baby. One less target. That was kind of nasty. I live to serve. That was kind of nasty. That, that was like a really brutal kill. Um, let's move up here and we'll shower this guy. Could we, if we jumped down, could we hit him with both? We could, but the medium lasers actually aren't going to hit very well, and, and that's a lot of heat. Let's just go ahead and shower him with, um, let's go ahead and hit him with everything we got here. Yeah, it's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to hurt a lot. Unsteady, too. Excellent. Um, now, with the stalker, I actually might jump over here, because we're going to have to probably pair back some of our weapon systems, but we might be able to kill this Jenner right away. Um, straight up here. I'm, I can't use precision strike. I could probably pair back a few of my, my weapon systems just to save a little bit of heat, but I really like this shot right now. Um, this could really devastate this guy. Save a little bit of heat because we are in a desert environment. Yeah, that leg probably, that might be dead. Yeah, that leg, leg's gone. Yeah, and he's just gone in general. Excellent. A lot more hit than I thought would. But that was great. We're, we're really messing these guys up, which was kind of expected. It wasn't really a fair fight. Uh, we'll go in for some melee attacks on this guy now. Um, now that he's up close and personal. Um, that's always the idea. When the little guys that you can't hit very well, bring it in for the real thing. Um, yeah, you can just get down there and shoot him. Well, your chance is better here. Yeah. Okay, that's fine then. Because you don't have any jump jets, so this is fine. I mean, you could precision strike if you want. That's pretty good. Here it comes. Yeah. Do that kind of stuff, exactly. Yeah, that's going to hurt. And his, his evasion's actually almost gone, so we don't even really need to probably melee, um, to be completely honest. What if I just moved here? Yeah, there we go. To That's fine. This this will probably kill him. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, it's just not very fair. I, I, these, these lighter squads against my the firepower in, in my squad is really not fair. Um, good to have jump jets though. Saves us quite a bit of walking. Um, move everybody up. The only, the only person that doesn't have jump jets is the Centurion, remember? So he, he will have to do a little more... Uh, but let's get everybody to the rally point. A little more sprinty, sprinty. Um, yep, get everybody to the rally point. You gotta go around. Good. Roger that. Yep, we'll just sprint you guys over here. Uh, let's not let's not engage yet until we have everybody over here, because it will spawn the it will spawn the convoy, I believe. Um, the minute I enter the rally point, it will it will spawn the convoy, which we're probably fine doing at this point. Um, right? Probably. On my way. Yeah, we're cool doing that now. Completely fine spawning the convoy. Looks like you've scared the enemy around the politicians, but they are making their way towards the extraction point now. Keep them alive. Keep in mind that they will try to stay near you for protection. Continue to advance. Yes. So the only that that is actually a good note for these kinds of missions because you have to stay relatively or somebody has to stay relatively close to the convoy. Um, to keep it to keep it moving. It'll be interesting to see. So this is the escort zone. Okay, so that's where we're going. Um, maybe I'll ra r ride. Yeah, here we go. Enemy contact. So there they are. They're already kind of giving themselves away. That's fine. Then we'll, we'll duke it out with them down below. I don't care. I was hoping maybe to have a little bit of time to, to move somebody behind them. Uh, maybe it would have been good to leave my Centurion over there and just gone gone and tried to flank him. This is really a cool. Wow. The detail in this game is really, really top notch. Uh, Unity is a cool engine um, in terms of what people can create with it. But man, I'll tell you, uh, uh, it does suffer from some, some performance issues. Uh, on it, it, or I shouldn't say that on console it tends to be worse. PC, it's you know where you've got a lot of headroom. It tends to not be as big of an issue, um, but you know on consoles it, it can struggle just because it, it just it, it, it tends to just be a, a very heavy engine. 
Um, I mean, amazing results, right? I really wish you wouldn't do that, dude. Um, uh, they're all going. Isn't it my turn to go? Why are you guys all going again? That's right. It's because I'm spawning that thing. I'm telling you, you guys. Um, dude, we got to sprint. We got to sprint up. Oh, they're gonna move all those guys up. I, I, I'm just worried about them taking a, a hit. Yes, Commander. We gotta sprint everybody up. Everybody up. Everybody up. Would have been nice to like get like a Jenner or something up the up there. Yeah, yeah. Go around. Ah, I slowed one down a little bit. Good. Full throttle. Yeah, full throttle. Ah, uh, Commander. Up. Get up. Understood. Moving fast. I want them to shoot at us. Preferably not. Oh, they're gonna go up ahead of us. They're definitely gonna shoot at that thing. They missed, thank God. Um I don't know, we might lose one of them before we can catch up and actually start shooting people. I'm hoping not. But you just don't know. He's gonna shoot. Yeah, there's one. Damn it! Come on! Standing by. It just sucks. Right before we could draw their fire, that happens. Um, you do you have multi-targeting? You do. So let's go ahead. I, I know this is generally not what I would do, but I uh, um, use multi-targeting. I've actually had some comments with a, um, a guy who's been uh, watching the entire series, Jeffrey, and he's really anti um multi-targeting i totally understand why it's just like because you never truly kill the one guy you want to concentrate your fire and take out um you know as many as many guys at a time as you can but in this case we're just trying to aggro them to make sure that they stop shooting the convoy well that that worked there um uh, it sucks that they took out one of them which means we don't get a bonus uh we won't get a bonus. oh well i thought i used multi-targeting there ah, i forgot to assign the different weapons whatever Please don't kill it. Good, didn't kill it. Um, so, but I don't think it really matters though because we're not gonna get our bonus. Get our Marauder up here. We're not gonna get our bonus either way. Um, you do not need to fire this. This is excessive. Let's go ahead, <clears throat> excuse me. Turn off the PPC. Wow, okay, I, I probably should have fired. Can you guys not shoot? Is like these guys not shooting? Can you move up here and, and kill this guy? Sure hope so. Excellent. Yeah, boom. Okay, well at least that guy's dead. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to um, kill that mech. These mechs before they kill any more of my guys. Nope. Of course. I don't know which one is the, are the politicians in, but I think I'm in trouble. Um, let's just get up here and shoot this guy. Location confirmed. Let's use a precision strike. We're hitting him. Good. We'll probably be able to kill kill the spider before he has a chance to shoot again. <laughs> that vehicle's gonna get to go. Please don't kill another one of my guy my vehicles. Excellent. Missed. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get at least two of them through. Escort the politician. Es destroy the enemy reinforcements, which we're about to do. Um, so that's good. Uh, it sucks that we're not going to get the bonus. But I, I didn't expect them to move ahead of us that quickly. Always, that's, what, that's why I always say I like to be in position, kind of towards the escort zone before I aggro, before I, um, you know, step into the spot and let, and let everything go. Violated my own rule and look what happened to you guys. I'm telling you. That's a knockdown. The Cobra strikes. Excellent. Which means I'll be able to kill him pretty quickly. We'll kill the vehicle very quickly. Um I don't know if you, you guys aren't gonna shoot, are you? Yeah, you are. Wow, okay. Wow. You guys gotta kill. Nice job. So all I gotta do is kill the squishy squishy uh, uh vehicle. Yeah, give him everything you got, buddy. Welcome no survivors. 
Okay, so there we go. So now it's just getting these last two vehicles. The good thing is you don't fail your primary objective when you lose a couple vehicles. It's just you, you can lose out on the 10% or 15% bonus or whatever. It sucks a little bit on the money front, but you know what? We have a pretty We're decent payout on this mission either way, especially for what it actually is. Uh, it wasn't very hard. We're not, like, in any sort of danger. Um, let's go here. make sure that there's no other enemies around. I don't, I don't believe there are, uh, but, you know, we'll just kind of spread out just in case. Quickly, quickly. I don't know why you're going that way, but okay. It's making me nervous. Is what you're doing. Get everybody On up. You're not in the evac zone, so I think you're okay. On the move. Where our drop ship is coming down. Must have been some rough terrain right there. Did you guys see that? That's kind of I'm weird. ready. We'll just brace everybody. Down. One in. Whoa. Okay. Hold this position, Commander. The package will be on its way soon. Wait, wait. Nobody's close enough to that guy? Come on. Keep the politician safe while embarking the dropship. Okay, well. Looks like a bunch of light mechs. Alright, so what we'll do here is we'll get the we'll get the uh, Centurion to come up and babysit the uh, the, uh, the ally so he'll keep moving his, he'll, his butt moving. But really what we want to do is go up here and use multi-targeting to engage both of these guys. So they shoot at us and not our convoy. So I'm going to do this right this time. I'm going to do multi-targeting. One and two. A and B. One for each of you. And uh, uh, we should be able to just hit them. Engage them. Wow, that actually did a little more damage than I thought it would. Excellent. Doing a little bit of damage. Making sure that they are... Did our ally not move again? You got to be kidding me. He's not going to move until, like, I'm babysitting and standing next to him? This better not be, like, an error with the AI right now. They literally just can't move. That would really, really upset me. Um. Yeah. What if we just jumped over here? Well, this is fine, too. A little bit of heat, but that's okay. Um. Yeah. Front guy's fine. Nice. Knocked him down. This just in. Hit the auto cannon missed, but that's okay. Stalker can get up here and use that extended laser of, of his. Um, that guy's downed already. Let's try to. It's only 65%, really. It's probably because I, I don't have line of sight. Is that is that the issue? There we go, just go for center tour, so. There you go. Nice job. Just a breaching shot right to the heart. Done. Instant kill. Yeah, that'd be a, that lo other locust is gonna come up here. Come on, no. There we go, that's okay. Good to go. Woo! Scaring the crap out of me. Um. Yeah, I'll just get up here. Let's get up here and start doing some killing. Would be really nice to, to be able to engage that 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 locust right there, but I'll, he'll get his. Not too worried about that. Excellent. Boom. Two down. Let's kill this last one and try to get this. Uh, my ally literally will not move, you guys. It's really. I hope he's not stuck. If he's stuck, we're just going to like leave. We're just going to leave the mission. Straight up withdraw. It's going to be awful. It's going to really make me mad. So we just need to engage this guy. Uh, I say we use a precision strike just because we have it. It will increase significantly increase our chances of hitting him. And we killed him. Good. Excellent. No more no more risks to our our guys. Um, just get up here with him then. Babysit him. I don't care. Stand next to him. So he goes. 
Everybody else, just brace up. The cooling mech is a happy mech. He's stuck. He's stuck. You gotta be kidding me, man. Stabilizing and this is awful. Well, he's literally not going to move. Oh, this is just so frustrating. Racing for impact. Yeah, he ain't moving. Onward, dude. Waiting for orders. All right, guys. Come on. A stuck convoy? Come on. Ah. That's so dissatisfying. It's fine. It's fine. We still got a little bit of money. We got one piece of salvage. It's just like it's so annoying. So annoying. I hope that doesn't hurt our 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 reputation with the mercenary board too. It's just like come on. That's... Whoa. Whoa, okay. Sorry about that, guys. There was a second there. I thought my thing was going to freak out. That is so freaking annoying, you guys. What just happened right there. It's like, yeah, it's not the end of the world, but come on, man. Uh, um, okay, well, the cool news is this. Really, civilian extraction, escort, lunar day... That's a, that's a long, that's a long travel. Now they will, they will pay for our travel, um, if we do it, which is always really nice. Um, but here's the thing. There's a couple contracts on here that I think might be worth doing. Trap sprung, 784,000. We'll take a big cash payout there. No more escorts relying on stupid AI, um, to do anything, to do anything. Uh, there's no black market here, but there is some cool, oh, interesting. There are some, um... There are some mechs. I don't think anything that we're very interested in. There's another Marauder. That's interesting. Only one, though. Um, only one for almost a million. Yeah. Nothing too crazy in terms of weapons or anything like that. Equipment. Nah. Not really. Max. Yeah. Okay. But. Well, guys. We are, the, the, the important thing is, we're on our way back on the mend. Um, we've got some XP to hand out here. I like the max sprint that that gives us. I like the indirect fire penalty, but I also just love just getting more base weapon accurate, uh, weapon hit. Um, th this is good. Better melee, better sprint. Um, let's confirm that. Order. Dalton 2, you're, you're, you're good. Draper, you're good. Yeah, Draper would be yeah. nice to get to get continue in the battle. I like Draper because he's got Bulwark and, and uh, Sensor Lock. That's a pretty unique combination that we don't usually see. Um, Highwind, did we get... Highwind, did we just have you in a mission? You didn't get much experience from that, did you? It's probably because we failed. I hear ya. Waiting for orders. Sasquatch. We're gonna continue to we, we gotta continue to get Sasquatch in there as well. Same with Stormcrow. Getting pretty good, but can be even better. Or Sasquatch Mask and Highwind. We're gonna really rotate it now. But Draper's getting really, really good too. It'd be stupid to not continue to rotate Draper in as well. But that being said, guys, we're on the road to recovery. Uh we just need to get a little bit of money here. Um a little bit of money, maybe go do another flashpoint. Um and we'll be right back in this. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not sad. I'm not incredibly sad by it. Uh, eventually, we do want to. We, maybe we'll make our way to this travel contract after we do um, that. That that payout mission, just because it would be nice to eventually make our way down here and do a part of uh, one of the missions. It's actually part of the Flashpoint campaign, which is very interesting, um, considering I'm not even running the Flashpoint DLC. Uh, this one, a house divided. Right. We thought about doing that one, didn't we? This one, we were like, okay, whatever, we don't need to. This one's in 32 days. 
succession. This one might be this one would be interesting though though. 28 days, a house divided, 117 days. That's interesting. No consecutive deployments, short engagement length, rare item. That's right. I think we just looked at it like the reward wasn't that great. But and now we're kind of working working our way down here. It's like it'd be nice to do this, go to this travel contract, do that mission, check out the black market, and then possibly make our way down to that flashpoint. So I think we're gonna do that though. But with that being said, guys, I am gonna go ahead and put on this now. Um, thanks so much for coming out. I really appreciate it, especially everyone's made it this far into the campaign. We're gonna keep going. I mean, I'm having a ton of fun still. Like, uh, you know, the setbacks are kind of part of the fun. It's like the game, it wouldn't be very fun or interesting, I don't think, if you just, you know, rolled through every single mission and you never had any stupid setbacks and you never failed. Failure is uh, one of those cool things, I think. It's part of video games and uh, I like to, I like a challenge. So, you know, rethinking, using my brain to rethink how, how to approach those those marathon missions, stuff like that. But like I said, guys, if you are enjoying it, a like, a comment, and subscribe is all the support I ever need. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.